Om Shanti. Welcome to 31st of December's Wali Bissanya. Wishing you all listeners a wonderful, successful, self-changing, transforming new year with your new aims, new goals to transform the weaknesses within you so that you can have a blissful and a happy, successful life ahead. So we have a had we have had a session which we have recorded today itself from 2:30 to 3:30, 3:20 approximately. You may go ahead and have a look at that session. It's in the live section of this channel itself, Raj Yoga Self Healing Meditation, where you're watching this video from. So let's go ahead with today's Godly blessing. May you gain victory over the suffering of your karma with the stage of karma yogi and become a victorious jewel. So Baba says that when you become a karma yogi, that means you are doing your karma. Thinking is also a karma, by the way. When you're doing your karma, is breathing is also karma. So when you're doing your karma and you're having a connection with Godfather, that means you're taking him as your companion, friend, husband, wife, whatsoever. He's infinite, and you're con- you're communi- communicating with him all the time. Whenever you're doing your karma, it's like you're talking to a friend. Should I do this? What is? What, what about this? Did I speak right? It's like he's the director of your movie. Any suffering of your karma through your body will not be experienced as suffering. So that means I am detached from that situation. For example, let's say you're walking somewhere and suddenly some person comes and he just hits you a little bit and he just moves ahead. Maybe you're driving your car, or you maybe you're driving your your vehicle, your bike, or you're just moving on to the road and somebody comes and just brushes across, and you are so much in a hurry to reach somewhere that when you reach that place, you suddenly see your hand and you see there's a little bit of cut and the blood's come out. And when you see your hand, that's the time it starts paining. But before that, all that while when that person hit you, you were having your yoga or you were having a union with your target. Oh, I have to reach office. Oh, I have to reach that place. So you were not concerned about it. So you were so detached from that that you even couldn't feel the pain. Haven't you experienced something like this in your life at least once? So what is this? This is known as karma yoga. That means you are walking, you're doing karma, and you're having a union with that place. Similarly, you can have a union with the supreme creator. and have the same kind of feeling you can have the same kind of feeling for yourself while going through any karma bhog that means if you have any kind of physical problem or physical ailment and if you're having a communication or a communion with god you can actually feel detached from your body and not be so concerned about your pain now mind you you are not remembering god so that you are feeling detached see if i came because the attention is going to go over there your physical ailment you are remembering god or your connection connection with god is natural so much so that the pain is not felt in your body of any kind of disease or any kind of ailment this is what we are talking about then god says if someone has an illness in the mind that person would be said to be ill illness in the mind lust anger greed ego jealousy hatred and all these things illnesses however if your mind is free from any form of illness you are then constantly healthy see the definition which god is giving us simply lie down on the bed of the snake like vishnu have you seen vishnu ji he is lying on the snake now vishnu ji's body normally is shown blue blue is a symbol of so many things but one of the things which i understood today was that it's shown as blue because our body is blue not physically color but it is full of poison poison means what it has got some kind of ailment or some kind of disease which is there within the body inherited because this body has been created out of lust so it has got some kind of issue so that's why the body shown as blue and ailing body snake is a symbol of five vices so vishnu ji even though having an ailing body like it's a symbolism is lying down over the snake that means that soul has got so much of control that even if the body is aching body is having some kind of disease they still have control over lust anger greed ego attachment and jealousy and many more things it's possible that means and churn knowledge and remain cheerful churn knowledge and remain cheerful is how it's been shown because the snake is shown on sea or on water now how can a snake float on water this is a huge snake and especially with the person who's vishnu ji lying on top of the snake obviously it's not going to be floating over there right so it's a symbol that when you are lying down on on the snake that means you are relaxed you are remembering the knowledge ocean of knowledge and you having a physical body which is going through some kind of karma bhog health problem and you have control over the five vices because of that churning of the knowledge so much so that you are just lying down with ease 
imagine that state of being so god says that you are churning knowledge and you are remaining cheerful even if you have got some problem with your physical body with this churning power you will have a chance to dive even deeper into the ocean ocean of knowledge only such karma yogis are able to gain victory over the suffering of the karma and become victorious jewels only such karma yogis thinking is also karma breathing is also karma so when you're thinking you are having a connection with god you're talking to him so much so that that you're detached from your physical body problems you're not thinking about it the more you think about your physical problems the more the pain increases the more the suffering increases the more you're detached from it or detached from anything you're just going ahead you're just focusing on being happy being content even though there's so many problems in the world on top of your head but you're still moving ahead and you're just happy you're disconnected from the problem only then the problem gets solved by the way try it out and this is what we learn in brahma kumaris how to get detached from the problem om shanti with this